The 14th annual Race for Grace 5K Run Walk is this weekend. The event benefits the Church Health Center, which of course provides affordable health care for families without insurance. Organizers are hoping that a lot of people come. Last year, for instance, 800 people participated in the race. This year, it's going to be even bigger and even better. Marvin Stockwell from the Church Health Center is here to talk all about this as a fundraiser and all other things involved. Good to yeah. see you as always. How's Good everything? Good to see you. Good. Doing well. 14 years we've been doing this race. We've been doing this 14 years and of course we're hoping for a bigger crowd than ever. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the need from the Church Health Center perspective in terms of funding is of course uh, uh, great. You mm -hmm. know we, we need all the dollars we can we can raise. We don't rely on government funding. So we really depend on the Memphis community. Uh, and the great thing about the race is it's, it's, it's a way for the community to not just come together in terms of, oh, I believe in that, that cause, I'm gonna, I'm gonna support it, but to, to literally come together sure. uh, and, uh, and walk or run uh, and uh, celebrate the great gift of our own physical health uh, that God has given us. And this kind of race feeds into your mission quite literally in terms of creating a healthy society. It really does. Our, our mission statement is to reclaim the church's biblical commitment to care for our bodies and spirits. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways we do that is we provide affordable health care to working uninsured people and their families. Uh, but, and so it's important that we raise the money to keep the doors open so that we can continue to do that. But we're also, um, you know, we believe that, you know, dispensing pills is just one part of health care and that to really be healthy, uh, we need to be moving, we need to be active, we need to be eating right. So we, we believe that people have a responsibility to help take care of themselves. Right. So once a year, this, uh, I mean, uh, lots of organizations have a 5K, but uh, it, to, to us, it really fits in, you know, mission-wise in a way that's uh, uh, just all about who we are. Talk about um, the various services the Church Health Center offers, and then put that into perspective in terms of how much it costs to run the Church Health Center. Absolutely. I mean, we, we have a $13 million uh, annual budget, mm. uh, and most people know that the Church Health Center uh, provides affordable health care, uh, affordable medical care mm. to people who work but don't have health insurance. Uh, increasingly, uh, that is not just a problem of the poor, uh, but also a, a problem for the middle class, even upper uh, middle class. And when you say health care, you're talking doctors visit pills I mean everything it's hospitalization a, you guys run, the, run the gamut yeah our, our, our patients receive continuity of care through collaborative relationships we have with area hospitals mm -hmm. Uh, so, I mean, we, when people say, you know, they're a patient at the Church Health Center, I mean, we're really their doctor's office. Um, but beyond that, we have an 80,000 square foot comprehensive uh, wellness center uh, that has cooking classes, uh, heated therapeutic pool, aerobics classes, uh, uh, you know, uh, all making manner of stuff for kids and teens and, you know, uh, workout equipment, basketball, you know, racquetball courts. Mm -hmm. Really, the whole entire wellness uh, spectrum of stop smoking, class, diabetes classes, a really kind of holistic, uh, if you will, approach to keeping people healthy. So these, that's what we provide for the Memphis community. And the Race for Grace is just not only a celebration of that of that health and, and the celebration of, of movement, uh, but also it does raise very uh, necessary funds. I'm curious, how far does a Race for Grace, for instance, go towards that $13 million annual budget? Yeah, I mean, That's a lot of money. Thirteen million is a whole lot of money. Thirteen million dollars is. We, we, first of all, we're not, we don't we're not a free clinic, and and our wellness center is not free. Now it's on a sliding scale, so mm -hmm. we do raise some funds through uh, fees, uh, but m by and large, the majority of our money comes from individual donors who say, "I believe in the mission and work of the Church Health Center, and I want to make it my mission as well." You know, but you're right. Uh, a race for grace is going to raise. Um, you know, we hope somewhere sixty, seventy, eighty thousand okay. dollars at, at you know. So uh, that's that's nothing to it's sneeze at. Right. It's significant. But, but when you're considering versus thirteen million, that's right. a small percentage. Right. So we hope that it's as as well if, uh, as a fundraiser that it's also an awareness raiser. Mm. Raiser. We want people to know that we're there to serve them, and we also want people who know that who might not need our services might say, uh, but have money to donate might say. I'm going to get on board. I'm going to make a donation. I'm going to become a regular donor. You know, the race really is fun. You were telling me before yeah. we came off, came on, excuse me, that uh, you even kind of have gotten into a competition with one of your friends about naming teams and creating teams. Yeah, my daughter Genevieve uh, heard, but they oh, I'm forming a team. You know, she's just about to be seven, and mm -hmm. she said, uh, said, yeah, buddy, you want to you wanna form a race for Grace team? She goes, yeah. So she gave it some thought, and she said, I want to call my team Genevieve and the Lightning Bolts. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, buddy. So I we formed Genevieve and the Lightning Bolts, and we're asking people to, if they don't have have a team to join anybody out there can join Genevieve and the Lightning Bolts and <laughs> help my buddy uh, me put my buddy Jeff Hewlett uh, to shame and Jeff Hewlett's team is is a uh, Hewlett the dogs out <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So Look. it's all in good fun. And, all right, uh, for people who want to come yeah. out, where do they need to be? What time do they need to be there? Shady Grove, Shady Grove Pres, uh, Presbyterian Church, um, uh, out on um, Shady Grove and, and, and Yates. Saturday morning, 9 a.m. is when the race starts. We also have a one-mile fun run, which begins at 9.15. Okay. Fun activities for the kids, live music, uh, healthy snacks, uh, something for everybody. All right, good stuff. Always good to have you here. Good to, good to be here. Thank Not you, Terrence. Not a problem. Folks, if you want some more information, go to MyEyewitnessNews.com. The race, of course, Saturday, November 6th. It starts at 9 o'clock. You just heard that. It's at Shady, Cro Shady Grove excuse me, Presbyterian Church. 5530 Shady Grove Road is the address. Once again, you can get that information on our website, too. MyEyewitnessNews.com. When you get there, click on the Find It link, which is on the right-hand side.